Okay, let's do this right this time, shall we? A million pardons or something for the people who want me to start off each video talking about what part it is because that gets redundant and I don't want to waste a lot of time on it like I am right now. So anyway, this is basically the only one of these Super Mario Galaxy style stages I can do without dying a lot and I still can't get the right coins on it without... Ah, I'm so used to Super Mario 64 physics, I wanted to jump and kick and go backwards. It's not fair. Man. Oh well, I'll get it right this time. That was not... I don't know why I thought that was going to work. Oh, uh, so yeah, these are another reason I never really 100% of this game. I was horrible at these, and I apparently still am to an extent. There are lots of fun, but a little bit cumbersome, much like the blue coins. I mean, I love the idea of collecting things, it's just there are so many in each level, and they aren't like in very re memorable locations, and it gets really annoying if you're going for 100%, and then, whoops, you can't remember which ones you've gotten or not. And I don't know, that never actually came up, I just never wanted to even risk it coming up because it was dumb sounding in theory. I don't know, basically I'm complaining for no reason, but it would have been nice if they had, like, a checklist describing which, like, which blue coins you got, or only had, like, one or two blue coins a level. Like, Banjo-Kazooie could pull off the honeycombs in really weird places, because there were only two in, or, yeah, there were only two in each level, so there was no problem. You either had one, or you had the other, or you had both, or you had neither. Not an abundance of choice there, so let's see what the second shine sprite in this level is. I cannot recall off the top of my head. <sighs> Mere madness, tilt, slam, bam. That's what she said. And yep, there's a giant wiggler living on top of my thing. <laughs> Look at the top of the tower, there's a giant wiggler up there! Ah, I don't like wigglers living on top of my solar towers, and I don't like weird cataquack monsters being weird cataquack monsters all over my mirrors. This is not a very good time. Why aren't all wigglers that big? Oh, I need a hover nozzle. Quickly. Yay, hover nozzle. Yes. This is what I wanted. Quack, 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 quack. Yep, these dune buds are a lot more entertaining than the other ones, in my opinion. Whoop. Okay, Se secret shine sprite ahoy. Man, I just barely got that one. Kind of glitched out a little, too. All the way up there. I wanted to kill the ducks. Oh, well. Okay, apparently that doesn't work. It looked like it kind of could. These walls are weird, and they don't look like you should be able to wall kick off of them. But, like they say in Brooklyn, wall kicks will work. Oh crap, two blue coin birds! You're kidding. I don't like blue coin birds. They're too hard to... Shoot, there isn't even any water near here. And they disappeared, and I hate it. That was a bad idea, Nintendo. It's just cumbersome. That is going to be my word of the day for Super Mario Sunshine. Cumbersome. It is an excellent game, probably the best platformer next to Super Mario World, but... Did you really have to ruin it with blue coins being necessary? I mean, as a bonus treat that gives you, like, the diaper nozzle? Yes, I would love that. I wouldn't have to do it every time I wanted a essentially 100% playthrough. But, nope, just make them account for, like, more than a sixth, a sixth of the stars. That's a good strategy, too, Nintendo's. Very good strategy. Where is a stupid blue one? This is not going to be amusing times for my poor viewers. Do you know what? how much sorrow you're causing, Mario? So, anyway, since this is going to be boring and dumb... Oh, I love the tightrope mechanics. Well, I mean, they're really weird, but I still love bouncing around at the speed of sound. You see, I have no place to go, so I must follow my rainbow. Oh, okay, we just committed bird homicide. 
But anyway, I was going to start discussing uh, Let's Play times, but apparently we have gotten back on track. Okay, so pardon me as I quickly pull up my blue coin guide and waste a bunch of time. Let's see. Uh... Okay. Oh, uh, where are you, blue coin? Okay, yes. There's a hill with two mirrors and there's a blue bird. Peck your beak, wah, 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 indeed. I should probably stay in the gelato beach area of this thing, but whatever. I'm gonna, like, probably just avoid all blue coins and then do a blue coin run through so I don't have to think about it a whole lot. You yeah, that's a horrible and stupid way to do it. Okay, if you will quit pestering me with cutscenes, I will do what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, uh, is there a blue coin on top of... No, there is. Is that a rocket nozzle one I can come back to get later, or am I... Su no, it's almost definitely a rocket nozzle, I think. Unless I'm supposed to bounce off, but I don't want to. It's too hard to remember which ones I have or not. Is there a blue coin up here? There is, isn't there? Ah, why? Why did you do this to me? I don't want blue coins, they're too confusing. Uh, Star of the Island. No, that isn't it. No, where are you? It doesn't say. A uh, little hut. Okay, yes, there we go. <sighs> One down. Or, what do we. I'm at like nine that I've actually found the entries for. So, nine down, 231 to go. These are going to be sodding fabulous times, my friends. Why is that not, not a spin jump or whatever? Oh, apparently I'm taking on, like, the final one of these first, whatever. These things are creepy. What? You're supposed to... Okay, fine, you're supposed to get them. Ah, don't knock me off. Why do they have... What are they... These are the things that aren't really actually anything, so quit pretending they are. I mean, I was upset. I mean, if you are familiar with my Let's Plays, I often get upset when things that are clearly not things are... Oh wait, they have to be like teetering at the edges, whatever. Yes, these are not things at all. It's not even like they did something. It's not a thing. They just are not things. You made those up. You made them up. They are not realistic. They do not... There... There's not... Okay, they better not kill me. That would be pathetic. At least there's plenty of coins in the middle to heal up in between them. And now there's only one left. Virtually no chance of that causing any sorrow. These actually kind of remind me of big bullies. Since you have to, like, use their weight against them or something like that. Okay, so I am confused. Can parts of the Wiggler... Actually, it would be ridiculously neat if parts of the Wiggler could independently survive, because I think there are some worms that, like, if you chop them up into bits, besides the fact that each one of those bits can develop into a fully grown worm. Poor Mario, he's just not putting his heart into it at two health and blow. But, um, yes, there are some worms that, if you cut them into multiple pieces, they can either form together again, or do the thing where they think that's how you talk, right? I am a good talker. I should be doing Let's Plays, probably. Um. Okay, what I was trying to say is there are worms, if you cut them into bitty pieces, they can not only become, like, they can not only, uh, each one of those bitty pieces can grow into a fully grown worm again, but they can also, if you put them in the same spot, they will reform into the same worm that they originally were. And that brings up some philosophical questions, I guess. But more importantly, it makes sense here, because you are about to see something happen to this Wiggler, and then something else happen to it in the next level that upsets me and made me feel as if there were continuity errors. And I value my continuity. Yep, doing the final one very hard. Bye bye. That didn't look like it should have even done. It was hardly past the middle. Anyway, yes, you killed the Wiggler here, or so it seems. 
that's kind of sad, actually. It's just sleeping and made it m melt and break apart. That's depressing. You're a jerk, Mario. How do you sleep at night? I'll get this one because it's another pretty simple one. I did not know you could get those out by stomping them. I thought you had to do the thing where you kill them. Wait, it's not still following me. Get back here! I can't afford to be showy when those things are just blazing around. I wanted it to launch me up and get all the coins, but whatever. We'll have to deal with the shine or settle for a shine sprite. Also, before I end this in my traditional method manner, I would like to say that I'm not saying smell y'all later. It is not Y A apostrophe all. It is smell you all later, just slurred together. But yeah, smell y'all later.